What's up guys, how's it going? Thanks for tuning in to another video. It's your boy Rush, back at it again. Today, well, we today, I uh, need to figure out what's going on with my Mustang, man. So, uh, last night, uh, we did the runs up against the Hellcat. Uh, unfortunately, on the last run, the car threw a check engine, kind of flashed a couple times, and then uh, I coasted the car for a while until we get it off the, you know, Mexico freeway, and then uh, put it back in gear. The check engine light went away, so it did not stay on. But today I woke up this morning looking at the car and there are, there's a lot of dust on this side and I'm noticing there's something coming out of the tailpipe. Um, so I'm thinking maybe the cat has gone out. Um, it's only on one side though, which is kind of weird. Um, so this side is still clear, but this one is covered in dust right here. And it looks like there's a weird material going on with it. Um, I mean, there's a weird kind of powder coming out of it. So yeah, the check engine is not stay on though. So I'm gonna go ahead and start the car up now and drive it, see if it comes back on. Um, and I already read the code. So the code is a cylinder misfire. It's a P0300, um, but it's not specific to any one cylinder. So I'm really not sure what it could be. So anyways, let's go ahead and start the car up and see what, uh, what happens. Here we go. <clears throat> There's a weird rattle coming out of the car too. So I'm gonna let the car warm up and see uh, what it does. So there it is. So that's the code that I'm getting. Random multiple cylinder misfire. That's all there is in there. Nothing else is showing up though. And hopefully it's nothing uh, nothing wrong with the engine. Um, I still have oil pressure, which is really good. So we'll see. Let's take it for a little spin. Let's see what comes up. I'm going through the gears real quick and no problem so far. So let's drive a little more, kind of get some heat in the engine here. gauges here keep my eye on everything um, and the car feels completely fine I don't feel a single thing wrong with it um, I don't know if it still needs a little bit of time before it kind of peers back up or anything but we're just gonna drive a little longer and kind of test it out maybe I need to do a small pull for it to like appear So, I mean, I thought that it might be my cats going out or something that caused the issue. Um, you know, the cats are still in and the powder from the, the exhaust could be that. You know, I, I drove the car hard that night with the stock exhaust. I'm thinking there's not a lot of like free flowing exhaust. So maybe um, that could have caused it to get wrecked, like destroyed the cats. I'm not sure. pretty good so I don't know what it is if you guys have any idea I really do need your help if you have faced a similar issue where your check engine has come on it's thrown a p0300 code um, what could it be is it that the you know catalytic converter maybe 
is going bad and messed up the car through it you know misfire code is it that i hit the rev limiter i, I really don't know uh, there's a bunch of theories that are going on um, i'm thinking i'm going to take my cats out and see if that helps things out um, the car does did feel restricted when we raced that night and it didn't feel like it was running as good as it usually does um, and I kind of thought that was just from the uh, stock exhaust being back on, you know, maybe that pressure of having the mufflers and resonators and everything in there versus the Corsas, but I just was not expecting a check engine to come on. So hopefully it's nothing too bad. Um, let me know what you guys think. I, I really could use your help. I'm going to pull over right now and see if the smoke coming out of the tailpipe has gotten any worse. But definitely the car is pulling just fine. It does not feel like it's losing power or anything um, as I'm driving around right now. It feels actually very smooth. You know, she's feeling pretty good. So anyways, uh, let me pull off here real quick and we'll kind of test uh, just to see what, what's coming, going on with the exhaust side of the rear pipe. Okay, I just pulled off the road here. Let's go ahead and kind of see if there's anything that I can tell at least that's going on. So apart from this tailpipe being a little dirty, the car is idling fine. Let's go inside the hood here and see if there's anything else that we can kind of see. So we got coolant. There's definitely water flowing in there. Supercharger is not hot or anything. I don't see anything out of the usual in the engine bay. So everything appears to be good. So I don't know if that was a one-time thing or what it was, but I really do need your guys' help in trying to figure it out. Um, let me put the camera here and rev it a couple times, see if anything comes out of the tailpipe. Did you guys see anything come out? I didn't see anything. Did you guys see anything? If you saw something, let me know. So I'm gonna go ahead and close the hood and we'll be on our way. There we go. Now, one thing I'm gonna do is re clear the code. Okay, so we're gonna do that. I'm just gonna clear the code real quick so that we're gonna see if it comes back on. We're gonna go ahead and clear that. Okay, let's see if that did it. Okay, I think we should be good there. Let's go ahead and turn off the car. And uh, now it's time to start it up. Here we go. Okay, I'm gonna do a little bit of a drive real quick. Um, it's kind of hard to drive without my GoPro, so I'm just gonna put you guys down, go grab some gas, and uh, see if anything comes back on. So uh, hopefully it doesn't, fingers crossed. Let's see, exit out of this menu, we'll go back to gauges. There we go. Okay, nice. Here we are, getting ready to go back out. Here we go. Okay guys, so I'm taking a drive once again. Uh, I just wanted to kind of say a few things about the last race video though. Um, a lot of people were like uh, upset over, you know, the MS-109 and all that stuff. And I'll be honest guys, I was not an MS-109. I did not uh, put, put that in there. And I feel like if I did, the car would have been a lot better. Uh, here's the thing though, I learned a lot about my car. So obviously when you race a car, you learn more and more about it. And that's exactly what's been happening with me. Like I learn more about my car as I drive it, as I race it. And um, you know, now I'm learning how to use all the power down low. So, you know, previously I was having trouble uh, really kind of getting the car 
uh, out of the hole. You know what I'm saying? Like I was going at third gear most of the time instead of second um, because the second was blowing up the tires. But now I realize that I can use second gear. I just can't be as aggressive with it. Um, so that's something that I need to kind of learn how to, uh, you know, learn to do. So if if I can take off in second, the car has way more power, usable power. Uh, if I can kind of just get it to uh, hook up. So. Uh, Oh, the charger just came up on me real quick and I had to give him the gap. But at least we know the car runs really well. Here it comes. I just smacked that charger so hard. <laughs> He's like, hey, yo, you want to supercharge? Yeah, <laughs> that's why I put three buses on you. <laughs> um, see, that's the thing that happens, man. Every time I take a bus, I have somebody wants to mess with it. So what I was saying was that as I drive the car more and more, I learn more about it. I learn how to use the power that I have and everything. So the car did a lot better. Unfortunately though, I do believe that this issue, whatever was going on was holding back. Um, I think that my cats are going out and for that reason, uh, the car threw that code. Uh, could be that it thought, you know, something was up that the car wasn't running right. So it kind of pulled back the fueling or something. I'm really not sure, but I need to take the cats out, especially if the stock exhaust is gonna be on for a little bit. I need to take the cats out and uh, let kind of the, the engine breathe because it feels like it's very restricted. It feels like the car is kind of um, held back. It did not feel like it was pulling as hard as it did before. So I know exhaust don't make the biggest difference, but I definitely felt a disadvantage of not having it. So that's all I'm gonna say. Um, but yeah, so, so far so good. Everything looks pretty good. I'm gonna re-pull the codes once I get home. If anything pops up, I'll throw the camera back on. If not, I appreciate you guys tuning in today and uh, supporting the channel and everything. Thank you so much, we hit 160 subs. Um, so that's crazy, man. 160,000 people out there watching these videos. So thank you, thank you, thank you. So yeah, thanks a lot for tuning in, man. If you enjoyed today's video, drop a like, subscribe if you haven't already. See more Rush. And the pony seems like she is good. She is good. I don't see any problems with her. She's good. Sorry, it's a little bumpy of a road here, but I'll catch you next video. Peace.